Hey, my, I might lost my voice a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> hey, YouTube. That sounds better. It's your boy, B3, back to another kicking movie reaction review. Today we have a review that you might not have been expecting so soon. Detective Pikachu. That's right. I saw it the third I saw one of the Thursday pre-screenings. Hopefully this will be up by Friday. My internet sucks. But um uh, don't mind the domestic dispute that's happening back there. there someone's having a bit of a domestic. Uh it looks like that's ending now, so it's all good. I, I was seriously this close to calling the cops for real. But uh, Date and I just saw Detective Pikachu. And it was an enjoyable film. There was a lot wrong with it, but it was an enjoyable film. Like, overall, I liked it. It was very predictable, though. The villains were predictable. Some of their motives were predictable. Why he can understand Pikachu is very predictable. Uh, it was this big mystery, and the mystery was done well, I think. It was just predictable, I think. I just felt like it was very predictable. I felt like I knew who the bad guy was right off the bat. It was very obvious. Um, I uh, I knew what P why Pikachu didn't have memories right off the bat. Very obvious, I thought. And it, it's it's a it's a film worth seeing. But I will say this, not everything needs a live-action adaptation. Not everything needs a live-action adaptation. This doesn't need, this didn't need to be a live-action movie. Some of the Pokemon were cute, some of the Pokemon were cool, and some of the Pokemon were weird. There's this big scene with Apom, and Apom looks horrifying. It's a horrifying creature. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, but... <laughs> But some Pokemon just, just don't look good hyper-realistic. I mean, they aren't meant to. They're anime creatures, of course. But uh, as you know from a trailer, if you've seen the trailer, Mewtwo is in it. I think that would have been nice, but the, the movie opened up and I was like, the first scene is going to be about Mewtwo, just watch. And then the first scene was about Mewtwo. I was predicting stuff before the film even happened. So yeah, very predictable. But, and Ryan Reynolds really steals the show in the movie. Like, it's, it's good for some laughs. It's, it's, a, it's a good film for some laughs. And it's not really for kids. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's not kid-friendly. But I also wouldn't, it's not for kids. It's obviously for people who grew up watching Pokemon. Not all the characters are my favorite or anything. I don't think there was any character that I really liked other than Detective Pikachu himself. The other characters, I was just like, okay, whatever, whatever. But it's good for some laughs. You know, I had fun going to see it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But once again, it's something that you, if you've never jumped into the Pokemon universe until now, and this is like the for your first exposure to Pokemon, you're probably not going to like it. Um, once again, not a bad film. I'm just, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't very impressed at all. But it's good for some laughs uh, and evokes some nostalgia, which is what movies are all about now, invoking that nostalgia. But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. I actually bought more Pokemon cards and hero clicks to open on this channel, so keep your eyes peeled for those videos, my friends, my absolute friendarinos, my pals. That's it. Thank you all once again. Support us on Patreon, and I'll see you all later.